Thanks for staying with us. Let's get you some international news now. Japan's nuclear crisis intensified again today with Japanese authorities announcing that a containment vessel in a second reactor unit at the stricken Fukushima Daiichi plant in northeastern Japan may have ruptured and appeared to be releasing radioactive steam. That would be the second vessel to be compromised in two days. It's not yet clear though as to how serious the possible breach could be. The announcement came after Japanese broadcasters showed live footage of thick plumes of steam rising above the plant. The uh, company is observing the situation and workers are said uh, to have been evacuated to a safe location. Meanwhile, Japanese shares were rebounding sharply in trading today after the benchmark Nikkei shared more than 16% since the devastating tsunami. The Nikkei opened 536 points, that's 6.2% up. Meanwhile, the Bank of Japan injected a further 3.5 trillion yen into the markets today to ease the disaster's impact. It was the third day running that Japan's central bank had injected billions of dollars into financial markets and came after injections totaling 23 trillion yen over the past two days. Now, the humanitarian crisis as it unfolds around 8,50,000 households in the north are still without electricity in near freezing conditions. Government reports say at least 1.5 million households have no running water. More than 4,40,000 people are at the moment living in 2,400 evacuation shelters in northeastern and central prefectures. Some shelters have yet to receive food and water and other essential supplies. The Japanese government has said that 76,000 buildings have been damaged and the official death toll from Friday's earthquake has risen to 3,373. In Miyagi Prefecture alone, more than 1,600 deaths have been confirmed and over 2,000 remain unaccounted for. In Minami San Riku, 1,000 bodies have been discovered and another 8,000 are still missing. もう問いもとなくてもう物がない状態でもう well, NDTV spoke to the Atomic Energy Commission's uh, former chairman, Dr. M. R. Srinivasan, for a perspective on how India's nuclear reactors are. Well, first of all, you know, the Indian nuclear plants are not located in regions of extreme uh, seismic activity. Uh, our reactors are all uh, located in regions where the seismic uh, activity is uh, uh, considered to be, say, Zone 4 or Zone 3. Zone 3 normally, Zone 4 only in some cases if necessary. For example, all our reactors, excepting Narora, are in Zone 3. Now, the Japanese uh, reactors are in Zone 5 because their country is much more prone to earthquake attacks. Now, in this particular case also, the reactors have withstood the earthquake uh, attack. They have not uh, given way physically. But what has happened is the accompanying um, tidal wave or tsunami has been so severe that it has knocked out all the auxiliaries, and uh, essential auxiliaries to keep the reactor safe. And finally, with the mother of all elections less than a month away, campaigning in its many forms is set to hit full throttle. And along with our politicians, comedians and performing artists too, getting the accused right as they stage a highly entertaining sideshow, unlike any um, during the election carnival, Lalit Jude and Pratiksha Ramkumar spin out the story. Bring them on. Break up a few laughs. Entertain the restless crowd until the political bigwig can step onto the podium. That is the agenda of many mimicry and stage artists. Most sought after, the calendar of these unsung heroes during this season can rival that of any leading Hollywood star. <laughs> நான் <laughs> 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 
எனக்கு அதர் கட்சி இப்போ நாங்கள் இந்த கட்சியில் தான் இருப்போம் அந்த கட்சியில் தான் இருப்போம்லாம் இல்லை பொதுவான ஆர்டிஸ்ட் தான் மிமிக்க கலைஞர்கள் என் தலையை வடிக்குது என் தலையை வடிக்கு இருக்கா இல்லையா இட்ஸ் நாட் ஆல் அபார்ட் பஞ்ச் டயலாக்ஸ் அண்ட் கேட்சி டியூன்ஸ் ஆர்டிஸ்ட் சே தோ தே கீப் அ பிரஸ்ட் ஆஃப் கரண்ட் அஃபேர்ஸ் வைல் ப்ரிப்பேரிங் பெர்ஃபார்மர்ஸ் ஷுட் என்ஷோர் தே நெவர் கிராஸ் த லைன் அண்ட் இன்டல்ஜ் இன் பர்சனல் அட்டாக்ஸ் ஆன் எனி ஒன் எலெக்ஷன் டைமில் வந்து எல்லா மிமிக்கிரி ஆர்டிஸ்ட்டும் வந்து நல்ல பேசக்கூடிய வாய்ப்பு இருக்குது எல்லோரும் பற்றியும் அதே நேரத்தில் வந்து கொஞ்சம் ரிஸ்கான காரியமும் கூட அது எல்லாமே அதை கொஞ்சம் பார்த்து பேசணுன்றது தான் நம்மளுடைய கருத்து So Kollywood is set to make a mark this election season in more ways than one even as actor turned politicians vie for votes their lookalikes and voice clones are sure to make waves across the state in chennai with lalit jood pratiksha ram kumar for ndtv hindu and with that that's the news tonight at this hour but remember this is where we get you all of the updates and news as it happens we bring you nothing but the truth till then keep watching ndtv hindu